As we look at the library, we see we have a lot of natural daylight coming in on the west side. We have a lot of windows and natural daylight coming in on the north side. What I didn't have natural light on was through the center part of the library here. So my thought process was to bring Paul Hutton in and do a walkthrough with me and get some ideas on what opportunities we had there to bring in some additional natural daylight. Paul Hutton is a local resident and owner of Hutton Architects. Paul is well known in the field of natural daylighting and the health and wellness benefits associated with natural daylighting. Uh, Paul is a patron of the library, was familiar with the daylighting device that we've been developing for a number of years and recommended this as our, our first installation. In our February board meeting, we adopted a brand new mission statement. And the mission statement is we are passionate advocates for literacy and lifelong learning. Well, another way to look at that is to say our job is illumination. You know, so whether it's bringing natural light into a big box or whether it's putting a sparkling book in the hands of a bright child, our job is light. Some of the green practices that the library has already implemented are reusable book bags the daylighting control systems and the occupancy sensors in various storerooms and custodial closets. The ceiling fans in the meeting rooms, which help reduce the air conditioning load as well. And these light fixtures up here, each light fixture had three tubes and now they're down to one tube and they're very adequate. They provide the proper foot candles for reading. In essence, that will reduce our energy cost by about two thirds for that same area. The latest piece of technology that we've incorporated is the Sundelier, working with Sunflower Corporation. They installed a unit on our roof in the main part of the library free of charge, and we've been working with the engineers on fine-tuning the light distribution method on the inside of the library. This installation at Douglas County Library is the first commercial installation that we've uh, installed in the country. Um, this particular installation is a donation from Sunflower Corporation to the library uh, and a way for us to demonstrate to the public uh, the effects and the benefits of natural daylight. The Sun Delir actually tracks the sun very pinpoint and focuses about four times the sun's light down into one point into the building and from there it's distributed throughout to light up approximately 1,000 to 1,500 square foot of space below. There are uh, two gear systems that operate the Sundelier. One gear operates for azimuth and the horizon. The other gear operates for elevation. So whether it's winter or summer, morning or evening, we're able to point directly at the sun. A typical skylight is designed to light a, a fairly small amount of space. The Sundelier is designed to light an entire room with the same roof penetration that a skylight has. There is no electrical requirement for the Sundelier. We have a photovoltaic panel and we're entirely self-contained. This installation, in fact, has no electrical connections whatsoever to the grid. Bringing in natural daylighting helps the educational process. People have been shown to be more productive under natural daylight versus artificial lighting. So the library is a very natural place for us to be because it is a community center. It's a, a place that brings children, uh, parents, and elderly together in one learning environment so that everyone can share the benefit of the daylight. This is a win-win situation for both the library and Sunflower Corporation. They have an opportunity to send potential customers to this location to see their new device actually in operation and how well it works. These kinds of ideas are ways for us to reduce what, how much money it takes to keep a library up and running. And I think also it brings into this big dark box. You can put windows on one side, but how you bring light into the middle of it? And this is a way to solve that problem. And that's, that's good, that saves us money. Since the installation of the Sundelier, the library has gotten a little brighter and a little greener. If you want to find out more about Douglas County Library's green practices and the Sundelier, you can go to the douglascountylibraries.org website and click on the Go Green logo.